Pop Culture News, November 18th, 2023. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Pop Culture News. My name is Ebony Walters, and this is The Tea. New York, New York. Cassie and Diddy settled their $30 million lawsuit, which was filed in federal court under New York's Adult Survivors Act, for an undisclosed amount. The bombshell lawsuit comes after Cassie allegedly threatened to shop a tell-all book about her harrowing experience as Diddy's alleged kept girl. According to Cassie, born Cassandra Ventura, she was a 19-year-old budding singer, actress, and model when she met the 37-year-old music mogul Sean Combs. Combs seemingly held the key to all of her dreams, so she soon began dating Combs even though they were both in other relationships with other people. According to Cassie, she feared professional retaliation if she did not submit to his demands. According to CNN.com, Cassie was soon forced to engage in multiple sex acts with male sex workers and was subjected to physical abuse at the hands of her lover. In the lawsuit, Cassie alleges in 2018, after she attempted to end their relationship, Diddy forced his way into her home, raping her in what sounds to be a fit of jealous rage. Cassie, now 37 and a mother of two, has since moved on from Diddy after falling in love with personal trainer and actor Alex Fine. According to People Magazine, Fine, who wed Cassie in 2019, was employed by Diddy when he and Cassie first met, and he became an encouragement and support to her and eventually her husband. Also, according to PeopleMagazine.com, Fine has been there for Cassie every step of the way. Diddy's history of alleged domestic violence include Combs allegedly slapping the up-and-coming Drake in a Miami nightclub in December 2014. Neither party has publicly addressed this claim. Combs, who is a three-time Grammy winner, is a graduate of Howard University in Atlanta, Georgia, and on October 20, 2023, Diddy gifted the president of his alma mater with a $1 million donation after performing a few songs at Yard Fest. Memphis, Tennessee. A 22-year-old single mother in her final year of college at Tennessee's PA University, Taisha Starks, was shot and killed by 44-year-old Tylus Curry of Jackson, Tennessee, her child's grandfather, during a custody exchange. According to witnesses, Tylus was angry and positioning himself in a manner that seemed ready to fight and at one point closed the door, going back into his home to grab his firearm. When Tylus returned to the confrontation, he fired five shots, one of which mortally wounded his grandson's mother. According to the victim's mother, the child's father, Bryce Curry, often called Taisha to his home in fits of desperation over issues with caring for his son. Taisha asked her mother to pick the child up, but due to restrictions at her workplace, her mother could not. Taisha and her two friends, Nadia and Ariana, then went to the fatal meetup. To date, no arrests have been made. 